So what is going on people and welcome to episode 41 of the Barnsley career mode here on FIFA 21. If you are looking forward to this episode then make sure that you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel as well. And well it's been a couple of weeks actually since our last episode. I do apologise for the gap. Uh, but in the last episode it didn't go too well. It started well. We beat league leaders Man City 2-1. And then uh, to finish the episode, two defeats to the teams on Merseyside. All these games at home and both the defeats came in literally like the last minute of the game as well. Really disappointing. So uh, we're, you know, a little set back in the league. But today we do. I didn't want to do that. We turn our attentions to the FA Cup and we face Everton, who we've just played historically, especially at Goodison. We have struggled. And then we face a trip to Old Trafford. Um, I was going to do three games this episode, but a lot of transfer stuff has happened already. So we'll see how we're going for time after two games. Um, I'll see how long we've been recording and then we might adjust it accordingly. We might do two games this episode, depending on obviously how much transfer stuff we get done as well. So uh, we'll play it by ear. We definitely have two games today though. Um, and that of course, as I said, first up Everton in the Cup. But I just want to show you the transfer business that has gone on. There has been quite a lot of it. And um, obviously, you know, we were in the thick of this quite a few months ago. So I bring you up to speed on what's gone on. Okay, so this is what's happened chronologically then since the end of the last window. So youngster Carrasco has gone out on loan to Fenerbahce. With some of these loans, I can't remember whether they're short term or long ones. Because no FIFA you can get like two year loans. Um, I know one of them is two year loan, but yeah, this one I'm not too sure. Bearer has finally left us. He's gone to Bournemouth for two million. Toby Civic right back. He's gone to Chaika Rizespor for two point two million. Brian Berent was always a backup centre back. He may have only ever played like one game for me, um, but since we've improved that, he has gone to Utrecht for one million. Marcel Ritzmeyer as well. He has gone to Watford for one point eight five million. So literally just clearing out a lot of the squad players. Um, Karamoko Dembele someone will be picked up on a free I don't know whether it was the start of this season or last season he's gone to Fiorentina on a two year loan deal so by the time he comes back he'll be 21 hopefully he'll have improved quite a lot of course we've got um, Luke Thomas on the right and uh, Eunice Musa as well so definitely got good cover there um, Bauer is a youngster come through the academy he's gone out on loan as well Cedric Brunner is an offer that we got in um, he said that he wanted to leave. Final came in 2.2 million. I wasn't going to say no. I never really was sort of... Never felt that comfortable with Brunner, I have to say. Um, but that left us in the lurch. We needed a new right back because of this. Um, another youngster, Kozak's gone out to Genclair Beligi. Going to go with it. Um, another youngster, Randall, who scored at Anfield earlier in the season. He's going to Red Bull Salzburg on loan. And this is the player that we've brought in, Stefan Ristovsky. If you've been watching the Euros, you may well have seen this guy if you're watching North Macedonia. He played uh, on the on the right-hand side, forming them a little bit. Uh, yeah, he's come in on a free. It was between him and James Tavernier. Um, they're both free agents, both very good rated. Ristovsky is 30, so he's not going to be around the side forever. May start declining soon, but he has a rating... If we go and have a look, he had no, that's not him. Where is he? Uh, for right backs, isn't it? He has a rating of 77, so he's a free agent. Uh, definitely a decent little pickup, and certainly an improvement on uh, on Brunner. We will, he will be back up to Baku because Baku is better and much younger as well. Um, but yeah, you can see the makeup of the squad. Um, so in goal, we've got Davis and Awad as our backup. What's uh, a lot of these youth players were looking to get out on loan? Uh, left backs, we've got Ailton and Ben Williams, centre backs, Mikhail Helic, Anderson, Dabila, who we bought in this summer, and Nathaniel Phillips. Um, at right backs, we've now got Baku and Rostovsky. CDM, we've got Kula Bali and Decore. Uh, left wing, we have Rolando Ahrens and Freezer. Central midfield, um, we have a Kellen Camp, Gusinovic, Dudziak, and Gali. Right midfield, Musa and Thomas. Although this guy come through the youth academy and he is having an absolute storming season on loan at Munchen Gladbach. So it'll be interesting to see what he's looked like, what he looks like when he comes back. Uh, and then up front we have oh, Lorente, what a man. Silver and Woodrow. Now you may have seen when I went back to the transfer thing. 
We are looking for an attacker. I am looking for a new striker. I think Woodrow, as decent as he is, he's probably not quite good enough to be an impactful substitute off the bench in the Premier League. We've got a decent chunk of money. We've got about 15 million and 100 grand of wages. So, you know, we picked Silver up for 9 million. So hopefully we can sort of find another, you know, another bargain out there somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Hopefully we'll get some uh, reports coming in soon and we can make some moves. Um, but yeah, I've talked for long enough. Let's go and play Everton in the Cup. So this the Everton lineup then for the game in the FA Cup. Fairly rotated side, it must be said. Lossell in goal. Markello, Gibson, Prong, Grisic and Nkunku at the back. Brozovic, Aaron Ramsey in Delphi midfield. Anthony Gordon, Ricardo Horta and Calvert-Lewin up front. So, I think weakness is definitely in defence. But they still have some good players going forward. We've made three changes to our usual starting lineup. All three changes come in the middle of midfield. Koulibaly, Akelenkamp and Kasinovic come in for this one. Instead of Decore, Sangali and Dudziak. All just needing a little bit of a breather. But we're getting to the point now where, you know, even if we're playing players that wouldn't normally start in the league, like, say, for this example, you know, a lot of these players play in the league, but if they then aren't, you know, 100% to play in the league, I don't mind switching it out. I feel sort of comfortable. The strength in the squad is fairly even, so I don't feel like we have a first string and a second string almost. It's sort of like we've just got... You know, 22 good players. Stand him up. Stand him up. Well done, Gasinovic. Can we break now? Can we break? There's one more. There's a man over here as well. Silva. It's Dominic Freezer, I believe. The defending comes across. We'll cut inside, though. Freezer. Oh, tries to bend one in the far corner. Lossell is equal to it. It's going to be a corner in from Ailton. Aims for Helic. Gets his head on it. Well, I think it was going wide anyway, but Nkunku... Gets it away to make sure. Water up the line for Nkunku. Back to Water inside. cavalier has got a bit of space. Oh, Ramsey gets away from his man. Tries the first time shot. He hits it on the half volley with his left foot. And in the end, comfortable for Davis. Oh, can look. Oh, look. Kulabali's done well there. Silva is away. Is he onside? He is. Fabio Silva gets the shot away. And on the counter attack, I was looking at the at the lino for so long, waiting for him to put his flag up. Especially watching the Euros at the moment and all the faff that's going on with the offsides, just waiting and waiting and looking and looking. I wanted to cut in on his right and sort of finesse it, but uh, Pongrasic did well to get back at him actually, and uh, I had to take the shot quick time. But luckily for us, it's found the back of the net just a few minutes before the half. We take a lead away at Goodison. In the FA Cup. There goes the half-time whistle then. Not too much between the goal and the uh, half-time whistle. Everton just can't fasten themselves a, a proper chance at the moment. Had a couple of half chances. But uh, yeah, nothing clear cut for them as of yet. Let's hope it stays that way. Although with FIFA and in the last episode. I'm not going to count my chickens until the final whistle. I was saying about looking for an attacker as Everton come forward here and they're in behind. Oh, and luckily for us, the shot was straight at... Whew, straight at Adam Davis. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was saying about um, looking for an attacker. One thing I've always said about Fabio Silva is that his passing isn't maybe quite where I'd want it to be. Maybe looking for a striker who has got that really good passing ability. You know, someone like... You know, uh, Harry Kane. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to get someone like Harry Kane of that quality. But, you know, someone like the next Harry Kane or something, that would be ideal. Although, for 15 million, maybe asking a little bit much. They're starting to open us up now at the back. Uh, oh, that's offside, surely. Oh, I'm, I'm at sixes and sevens here. What a save. Ailton. We live to fight another day. I need to concentrate. Delph. Oh, he's in behind. Gordon. What a save again from Adam Davis. My word. No. Oh, Kudabali slides in. I haven't played FIFA for so long. When I was doing this career mode, like, consistently, I was at, oh, what a tackle from Ailton. I was in a rhythm and, like, playing well and stuff. Um, You know, this is on Legendary, don't forget. Oh, Thomas. Can we hit him on the counter? 
Luke Thomas. Luke Thomas. Oh, he's buried it. We don't deserve that second goal whatsoever, but we will take it. Oh, just robbed of the ball. I think it's Pongrasic who gives it away. And Thomas, it's a lovely finish across the keeper. Oh, that should be us through to the next round. Um, but yeah, I was saying, like, I, I've always been, I've always played this game on, uh, not legendary, but is it world class, the one before? Um, and I've never, like, I've tried taking the step up to legendary and then normally just get absolutely smacked about. So um, just keep it at, uh, at world class. But then for this career mode, we started at world class. But then it was like, okay, looks like I'm actually finally ready to take that step up to legendary. And I have. And we've been pretty good. But, like, when you haven't played FIFA for so long, and then you try and come back in at legendary, like, considering you've just moved up as well, like, so getting back into the rhythm and everything is so hard. What a finish that is from Calvert-Lewin. Okay, this cup tie isn't over that yet. Uh, isn't over yet, then. Ten minutes to go. Everton are fighting with everything they have. There we go, boys. It was a boring final 10 minutes, but we got the job done. And maybe I need to do a little bit more of that in uh, in future in career mode. Just sort of hold on to the ball, ensure the win, but revenge in the cup for the, for the league defeat. Everton definitely, stats-wise, the better team, but we'll take it. We'll do the post-match interview. That win takes you into the next round of the FA Cup. Congratulations. I know your boys will be celebrating. We're already, already thinking about how far you can go. Let's not get ahead of ourselves at all. Do one one game at a time, you know. Seemed like you wrapped up the win, but then when you let the goal in late on, it suddenly seemed like victory might slip away. How worried were you in the closing minutes? Yeah, you can't relax at this level. Might have hurt team morale a bit, but especially the way last episode finished. You could take nothing for granted. Were you pleased with Silver's display? Yeah, he deserves all the credit. Puts in performances consistently. Gets us goals. Right. Anyway, let's... Um, yeah, I think we've got a week. Oh, yeah, you can see the league table now there as well. How tight it is. Three teams on 40 points. We play, we play second place United. Uh, if anything happens between now and then, I will show you. Otherwise, it's straight to the United game. So, from last episode, the assistant manager has negotiated a two-year loan deal for Callum Styles to FC Michelin, which I'm going to accept. AZ Alkmaar want to do a loan to buy offer for Aitchison. Not necessarily interested in selling him just yet. I think we did give him a new contract recently. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if they fancy a loan. A loan to AZ Alkmaar would be decent, I think, for a player like Aitchison. Okay, so as you can see, we've had a lot of... Uh, well, good thing that I scout often during this career mode because we've had a lot of scout reports already come back. These are all based in England. Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot on here. Um, some of them younger, some of them older, some of them you surely will be familiar with. People like Che Adams, Timu Puki. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's no... I think so. the best ones maybe are Adams and Larson, 77. Um but then, oh, well, I sorted it by overall. So, yeah, we got from 73, I think, up to 77. There were some others on here that I've had to remove just because we can't really afford them. Um, some Ukrainian striker on Man City um, who's rated like 78, but they wanted like 30 million for him. And Ketia was on here as well, as well as like Kelechi and Nacho. By financially, we just wouldn't have been able um, to afford it. There are some good players on here. Yaku Mate takes my fancy, just because he plays a Reading. But there's one player that has caught my eye. Now, I know I said about the passing, but of all these players, none of them really have that good a passing. But, where is he? There he is, Tyrese Campbell. At Stoke, 74 rated, can play up front or on the right wing. Decent height. Shooting is all right, can get better with training. He's only 23, so can still improve as well. Check those physicals though. 89 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. Yeah, like, as much as it's kind of like the meme, pace on fever is fun, isn't it? So, <laughs> um, I think with that being said, you know, it's, it's a realistic move, I think, in terms of, you know, Barnsley were in the Premier League, Stoke still in the Championship. I think some of, they would go for someone like Tyrese Gamble, young, decent player. 
and we can get him cheap as well between 6.2 and 7 million um 22 grand a week on wages as well so i'm gonna go straight ahead and approach to buy tyrese campbell we'll start at the lower end 6.2 see what they say you know if we can get him fairly cheap we might be able to bring someone else in in this january window so then let's offer transfer fee straight up we'll go with the 6.2 submit the offer yeah all happy with that they always do despite having it on the hardest negotiation level on this career mode they are more than happy to take like the lowest recommended offer it's bizarre so we'll go in and negotiate the deal with tyrese then what an option he'd be like him between him and silver what well, that's such a good front line you know to have to choose between anyway he meets him at a fancy restaurant he wants rotation i'm absolutely happy with that in terms uh, of a length of deal he wants the he wants me to offer we'll go three years sort of in the middle he wants five years okay well yeah fine you know he's only 23 so five years is fine disregard release clause he wants 24 grand a week absolutely fine uh we will remove the bonus it might bump up his wage a little yeah it wants a couple of extra grand a week except that absolutely fine with that so there we go tyrese campbell is in the van very happy with that signing so we go then gone in and given tyrese campbell number seven um yeah happy with that that does mean however though that Corley woodrow has now found himself on the transfer list very sounding very much enjoyed him you know i remember the first first season of this save he um he got that long-term injury didn't he like on the last day on like the day after deadline day or something there was that bug in the game um but yeah and then when he came back we just loved him and yeah loved him since so it's going to be sad to see him go but uh unfortunately it's for the, it's for the best of the team well i was button bashing a and uh forgot to do the team lineup so this is how United line up. They've got De Gea in goal. No, wrong team. Wrong button. De Gea in goal. Carvajal at right back. Diego Carlos. Alaba at centre halves. Alex Tellez at left back. In midfield, Declan Rice. Bruno Fernandes. Thomas Muller. Forward line. Rashford, Brandt and Lotaro Martinez. That's quite a good team, isn't it? No wonder they're second. Um, we're back to full strength. Um, so Sangali, Dudziak and Decore back in the midfield. The normal first eleven, as you would expect, there it is. Tyrese Campbell up on the bench. Rice moves into the Barsley half of the field. Brandt seems to be the central option. Or maybe playing in behind Lutaro Martinez. I'm not too sure. Here is Martinez. Bruno. No one getting out to Rice. Helic comes across. Gets a block on it. We might be able to counter here with Dudziak. Freeze has made the run. And that's where we'll look. As he got the better of Danny Carver. How he may well just have done. Oh, I had an opportunity. I'm going to have to pass it back. I was aiming to one someone who I thought was our player. He was actually the referee. Despite the fact he was wearing green. Um, Decore has a shot from range. And it's an easy save for Tahir. There you go. That's your first 10 minutes all wrapped up. Baku does well again to get in on Rashford. Not enjoying himself already. Oh, there's a... Oh, I thought... One more. Freezer. Cut back. Oh, too close, I think. Too close to... Uh, oh, Sangali's not done badly, actually. Too close, I think, to De Gea. He got out to him, made the save. And Baku has won the ball again off Rashford. Try and get a ball in. That's a good block by Alaba. Have to go back. Yeah, Rashford is having a torrid time against Baku. Decore. Silva. Oh, I was going to use a run of Dudziak as a decoy and uh, try and find Dominic Freezer. Hasn't worked out, though. Muller. Well, he looks for Rashford, and that is a cracking ball. Has to be said. Rashford tries to cut inside, finds the ball to tell us somehow. And his first time snap shot. Is well saved by Davis. Ball in from Fernandez and Muller. Oh, just couldn't get it right defensively. And Muller has run onto that and absolutely buried it. He's free header as well, unmarked. Helic couldn't adjust himself, and for all our early dominance, a set piece undoes us. 
disappointed in that. To have the faith that we can come back, though. Have the faith we can score in this game. Brandt now. Now to Rashford. Can he get the better of Baku? Well, he's done him there. We'll follow the run. Baku comes back in. Starting to give Baku the run around now. Lutaro's shot is poor. But that is pretty much going to... Oh my God, what have you done? Helic, stand up to him. Stand up. Oh, he's got away with that one. Well, I was going to say that pretty much brings us to the half, but a late scare. Yeah, right. That was really, that's really disappointing, actually. I felt we were a good match for United in the first half, but yeah, sloppy from a, a set piece has undone us. Still, I am confident, like I said, confident we can score. Not if Thomas is just going to dribble the ball out, though. Martinez finds Fernandez. That's a lovely one, too, with Brandt. Fernandez has got space. He's in behind. Helic. Oh, Anderson. Oh. Anderson did so well to get the foot in, but it's just roll to Julian Brandt. It's a great block, but the roll, it just threw his feet, rolled straight back into the path of Brandt. He's not going to miss from there. Dudziak, pull forward. Campbell is in behind the debutant, Tyrese Campbell. Just spent six million on that. Oh, that was his moment. On as a sub. We brought on Kasinovic as well. I might bring on one final sub. So, what have we learned from this episode? I can start games well. Well, I can start episodes well. But I can't finish them very well. Another defeat to end the episode. We will call it after a couple of games in this one. But yeah, not ideal. It has to be said. United, definitely the better team. Can I have any questions? Thought with the pressure early doors, we might be able to do them. Villa beat West Ham 6-1. Christ, that will probably mean that we are falling further adrift in the uh, the league table. We're still sixth, only a point outside of the uh, top four, of course. Spurs have that game in hand. Let's just check some of the styles has gone out on loan. Decent. And two-year loan deal for H and to AZ. Oh, we'll certainly take that. A good opportunity for him as well. Right, so let's have a look at the league table then. Has the next round of the cup been drawn? Not yet. We've got Wolves and Derby and Villa in to come in the month, which are trying to look to do some more business. So, again, next episode maybe a couple of games. We've only got eight million in the bank now, though. But let's have a look at the Premier League table as it stands. If it will let me... So yeah, we sit in 6th on 40 points. Just one point off the top 4. 6 points off Liverpool, but again, the uh, the top 2 sort of having their own race, really. 4 points clear of Villa as it stands. So yeah, ticking along rather nicely. But yeah, like we said, Wolves and Derby to come in the next episode. If you are looking forward to that one, guys... Make sure that you smash the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on that one. And, uh, and for now, I will see you next time.